surprises in season two that we can that you can tell us about? Wait, no. <laughs> we, we won't tell anybody. She should never reveal those secrets. <laughs> you know better. No, uh, we can't really reveal much, so you have to watch it to find out. Um, but in, in terms of how your characters might change, or it um, always changes. <laughs> you know, just when you think it can't get any darker. <laughs> It does. So you're going to go darker then? It does. Okay. Uh, I think we're trying to play with the comedy of it. Um, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, I mean, the comedy within the show, not the fact that it's together. But, um, you know, we. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. We leave season one with Julia and the Beast after, you know, she spares Katie. Katie gets out of there. Yeah. Yeah. She's with the rest of the crew. Um, we get to see that a little bit more. Yeah. Julia and the Beast. Yeah. She's with the Beast currently. That's how it's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then. Yeah, for, the word. You can't say Yeah, anymore. exactly. I mean, obviously Katie runs off and yeah. um, she obviously comes back at some point. Right. Um, and you'll have to watch to find out why and, and who brings her back. But you, I think you really get to see um, a lot more depths and layers to her. And, um, and like she said, just when you think it can't get any darker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so given that it's that dark, did, it, did you ever get bothered by it? Was there a point that you went, this is uncomfortable for me to even play this? Or it's hard for me to play this? Really uh, I'll let you answer that one, yeah. <laughs> Constantly. Um, you know, it's, it, I, I am not Julia, you know, and, and it's even hard because this Julia isn't even the Julia from the You know, well, she is, and we try our hardest to emulate the books, but as far as story writing goes, you know, it's, it's not emulated perfectly. It has the spirit of the books, and I, I would like to think that I'm doing the justice as it's done in the books. Um, but, you know, storyline prohibits some things. Uh, it's hard because I'm not like Julia as Stella. I'm like a really happy, upbeat, I love the light, you know, and uh, she's, um, and she's, her amount of strength is it's incredible. It does get really uncomfortable, but that's why I do this, because I'm a crazy person, and I love to be in uncomfortable situations. You know? I want to do it all. Anything to get out of this, go into her brain. It's, it's incredible. It's an amazing opportunity as an artist to get to kind of it. And it's extremely difficult, but it's great. I love the challenge. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, I think that's what's so great about it, is it is uncomfortable, because of, but it's uncomfortable. You're not yourself, you're, you're in, as a character. So if you weren't uncomfortable, I don't think it would be fun or exciting or challenging. And I think that's the whole point of it, is that it's, it is challenging. And there are so many layers. And there's darkness and there's light. And finding the light within the darkness. And so it's just very multifaceted and exciting. It's kind of cool to get to play someone that not everybody likes. Yeah. You know? And there's a lot of times Julia does things I'm like, oh, no. No. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, say same thing with Katie. Yeah. <laughs> have that sort of. Yeah, thing. you know, it's nice to not to, to sort of disagree with a lot of you know their mentalities and the way that they think. Yeah, but that's like people, people in life, but like, don't always agree with with other people, but we can still love and appreciate them regardless. <laughs> Scene. This season or last one? 
Right. This season. Oh, this <laughs> season. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll say last season. <laughs> you know what was, was a good one for me? I love the day that we shot. I don't know if you were there. We shot the, uh, this uh, the black hole scene. Like no, I was not. Uh, we were playing. There was like the. Um, this Welters game. The Welters game, and thank you, and there was the black hole, and it was just all the effects that were going on in the room. Basically, we had a bleacher full of people, and they were supposed to like clap at the end because they were supposed to be excited about it, but the actors were not acting, they were just so genuinely excited about what just happened because it was such a long experience. Now, that for me was just, it was really amazing, so I had to say. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I think, I think last season when Natalia um, got lifted in the air by the goddess, I got to Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to get a float? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be able to just, like, defend it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. The stunts was really Ooh. cool, especially, like, hooked up to the harness. It yeah. Cool. It's nice to get to use your body. I'm really so excited. I mean, you, Katie is, like, the one character that's not from the book. Yeah. And, and it was one of the most pleasant surprises seeing you stick around. Like, that kind of thing that because you're one of the books, you might disappear. And then here you are for season two as well. Uh, that I am. What is it like not, well, A, not having to get the sword necessarily for a character to go back on, but um, you kind of have that freedom, I guess. It's, well, it's such a gift. I mean, she obviously becomes like Asmodeus, which is a character that's later on in the books, but for the most part, she isn't in the books. So for me, I don't, I'm not going off of what's written in the books for my character, because there is none, but I get to go off of what a writer's create, and so it's always fresh and new and exciting for me. It also allows me sort of a freedom to create a, a character out of, out of nothing, essentially. Um, and so that's such a joy for me. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you guys. Hold on.